Horatio Imperata for COVID-19. Merciful and compassionate Father, we confess our sins and we humbly come to you to find forgiveness and life. We come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 virus that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. Bless our efforts to use the medicines developed to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this to our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers. O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Our Lady, health of the sick. Pray for us. Saint Joseph. Pray for us. Saint Raphael, the Archangel. Pray for us. San Roque. Pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz. Pray for us. San Pedro Calusod. Pray for us. Novena in honor of Santa Maria Goretti. O God, our loving Father, you choose Santa Maria Goretti to be a shining example of a life pleasing to you. Adorned with Christ-like virtues, she speaks to us of the values we need to cultivate and develop in order to transform this world into a kingdom that honors you above all. Anchored steadfastly in you, she shows us the meaning of following your Son, Jesus, our way, our truth, and our life. Armed with radiant faith, courageous hope, and pure love, sustained by your grace, she declares to us the true response we give in life and in death in order to enter the eternal life with you. Grant, O Lord, that by this novena we will obtain the favors we seek from your generous heart and at the end of our earthly journey enter into the glory of your heavenly kingdom through the merits of our Lord Jesus Christ with the powerful intercession of our dear patroness. Amen. Please, in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Welcome to our celebration of the Holy Eucharist. We offer this Holy Mass for the thanksgiving of our donors and sponsors, for the eternal repose of the souls of our dearly departed, and for all other intentions offered in this Eucharistic celebration. Today is the third Sunday of Advent, Gaudete Sunday, and this is the ninth day of our Novena Mass, for the 40th year foundation anniversary of Santa Maria Goretti Parish. Our Mass celebrant is Father Ted Toralba with our parish priest, Reverend Father Jason Laguerta. Please all stand. <laughs> Thank you. 
In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Dear friends, this is the ninth and final day of our novena in preparation for the 40th anniversary of the foundation of our parish established on the 11th of December 1982, but inaugurated on the 8th of January 1983. Today is also Gaudete Sunday. Gaudete means rejoice. To prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries we call to mind our sins. Lord Jesus, you came to reconcile us to one another and to the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you heal the wounds of sin and division. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you intercede for us with your Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who see how your people faithfully await the feast of the Lord's Nativity, enable us, we pray, to attain the joys of so great a salvation and to celebrate them always with solemn worship and glad rejoicing. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. The desert and the parched land will exult. The staff will will rejoice and bloom. They will bloom with abundant flowers and rejoice with joyful song. The glory of Lebanon will be given to them, the splendor of Carmel and Sharon. They will see the glory of the Lord, the splendor of our God. Strengthen the hands that are feeble. Make firm the knees that are weak. Say to those whose hearts are frightened, Be strong, fear not. Here is your God. He comes with vindication. With divine recompense, He comes to save you. Then will the eyes of the blind be opened, the ears of the deaf be cleared. Then will the lame leap like a stag. Then the tongue of the mute will sing. Those whom the Lord has ransomed will return and enter Zion singing, crowned with everlasting joy. They will meet with joy and gladness. Sorrow and mourning will flee. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Lord, come and save us. Lord, come and save us. The Lord God keeps faith forever, secures justice for the oppressed, gives food to the hungry. The Lord sets captives free. Lord, come and save us. The Lord gives sight to the blind. The Lord raises up those who were bowed down. The Lord loves the just. The Lord protects strangers. Lord, come and save us. The fatherless and the widow he sustains, but the way of the wicked he thwarts. The Lord shall reign forever, your God, O Zion, through all generations. Lord, come and save us. 
Second reading, a reading from the letter of St. James. Be patient, brothers and sisters, until the coming of the Lord. See how the farmer waits for the precious fruit of the earth, being patient with it, until it receives the early and the late rains. You too must be patient. Make your hearts firm, because the coming of the Lord is at hand. Do not complain, brothers and sisters, about one another, that you may not be judged. Behold, the judge is standing before the gates. Take as an example of hardship and patience, brothers and sisters, the prophets who spoke in the name of the Lord. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please all stand to honor the Holy Gospel. The Spirit of the Lord is upon me, because He has anointed me to be bring glad tidings to the poor. your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. When John the Baptist heard in prison of the works of the Christ, he sent his disciples to Jesus with this question, Are you the one who is to come, or should we look for another? Jesus said to them in reply, Go, and tell John what you hear and see. The blind regain their sight, the lame walk, lepers are cleansed, the deaf hear, the dead are raised, and the poor have the good news proclaimed to them. And blessed is the one who takes no offense at me. As they were going off, Jesus began to speak to the crowds about John. What did you go out to the desert to see? A reed swayed by the wind? Then what did you go out to see? Someone dressed in fine clothing? Those who wear fine clothing are in royal palaces. Then why did you go out? To see a prophet? Yes, I tell you, and more than a prophet. This is the one about whom it is written. Behold, I am sending my messenger ahead of you. He will prepare your way before you. Amen, I say to you, among those born of women, there has been none greater than John the Baptist. Yet the least in the kingdom of heaven is greater than he. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. In Spanish, segurado means sure, secured. It means to be certain, segurado. Mula sa verb na segurar, no? to secure, to verify. In Spanish, seguro also means sure. It is adjective, an adjectival word, seguro. Segurado, sure, 
past participle of segurar, seguro, sure. Pero kung sa atin ho yun, napapago. Segurado, sure. Pero kung sabihin natin, seguro, not sure, not certain, maybe, baka, no? probably. No? Kaya napaka-segurado ni Juan Bautista noong itinuro niya si Jesus papalapit sa kanya upang magpabinyag. We find that incident in the Gospel according to John the Evangelist. Dalawang beses, itinuro ni Juan Bautista si Jesus papalapit sa kanya. Iyan, sabi niya, ang kordero ng Diyos na nag-aalis ng mga kasalanan ng sandibutan. Dalawang beses, binanggit niya yun. Noong nakaraang linggo, siguradong sigurado siya sa pagpapakilala niya kay Jesus bilang kagaya ng isang magsasaka na nag-aani. Kaya sabi niya sa kakapala ng mga tao, hawak niya patukoy kay Jesus, hawak niya ang kanyang kalaykay upang alisin ang dayami, titipunin niya sa kamalig ang trigo, ngunit ang ipa ay susunukin sa apoy na di mamamatay kailanman. Napakasigurado ni Juan. Napakasigurado niya kay Jesus. Ngunit sa ating ebanghelyo ngayon, nawawala yung kasiguraduhan ni Juan. Nawala yung kanyang katiyakan kay Jesus. Nawawala. Kaya ipinahayag niya yung kanyang pagdududa at kabiguan. Pinadala niya kay Jesus yung kanyang ilan sa kanyang mga tagasunod. Bakit? Dahil gusto niyang tanungin sa kanyang pinsan. Parang ganito yung bilin. Tanungin niyo yung aking pinsang si Jesus. Ikaw nga ba ang pinili? Ikaw nga ba ang Mesiyas, ang Kristo? O mag-aantay pa kami ng iba? Are you the chosen one? Or should we wait for another? Maganda yung pagkakasagot ng ating Panginoon. Kung ating isalin yan sa ating panahon ngayon. Dahil parang ganito yung kanyang kasagutan sa kabiguan ni Juan. Para bang sinabi niya, o oh, sabihan niyo, yung aking pinsang si Juan, yung balat ng mga dating ketongin kinaiinggitan ni Vicky Bello at ng mga dermatologists. Yung mga dating bingi, ngayon nakikinig na sila. Meron na silang naririnig. Siguro nag-i-earphone na sila. Nakikinig ng Spotify. Hindi na sila nakikinig kay Father dahil boring yung homily niya. Nakikinig pa rin sila. Sabihin niyo kay Juan na yung mga bulag nanonood na ngayon. Nanonood na ngayon ng mga bagong pelikula sa Netflix mga bagong palabas sa Disney Plus at sa mga TikTok, sumasayaw na nga sila. At yung mga lumpo, yun na nga. Sa TikTok, nag-TikTok na rin sila, sumasayaw at nananalo sa mga paliksahan. Kaya ipagpaumanhin, sabihin nyo, sa pinsan kong si Juan, ipagpaumanhin sa kanyang kabiguan. Ngunit yung aking pagkanarito, dapat ay hindi araw ng pagkakaabala. Hindi ito araw ng pagkakatakot. It is not a day of fear and trembling. It is a day full of joy. Gaudete ika nga. What did John experience of what Jesus told him? Meron tayong phrasal term nito. And we call this wrong 
expectation. Maling akala. At alam natin na totoo ho yan. Maraming namamatay sa maling akala. Maling akala. Noong uh, ikalabing anim ng Disyembre, noong nakaraang taon, December 16, ngayon po ay December 10, 2021, last year, almost a year ago, meron pong malakas na bagyong dumaraan sa aming lalawigan. Pangalan ng bagyong yun ay Odette. It was classified as a super typhoon category 5. Ano yung category 5? Category 4, nung dumaan siya. Merong isang bayan doon, parang balde yung lugar nila, yung topography ng lupa. Mabanggitin ko yung bayan na iyon, Lobok. Gusto niyong pumunta sa aming lalawigan, mag-Lobok River Cruise kayo. It's like, it's a valley. And the church is right there at the center of the valley kung saan yun ang pinakababa na lugar doon. No? At may ilog sa tabi ng simbahan. Anong akala ng mga tao? Ay, yung bagyong yan, o death, wala yan. No? Dadaan din yan. Hihina din yan. No? Hindi aapaw yung tubig ng ilo. Wala yan. No? At nandito yung ating ina. Yung ating ina na si Santa Maria Birhen. No? And she was, or she is advocate, she is under the title of Our Lady of Guadalupe of Extremadura. And they've been through many floods. Sinabihan silang, dapat umalis kayo. Dahil yung bagyong ito'y malakas, ay yung iilan, nandoon lang. Sabi na, dito lang kami. Matatag yung aming pananampalataya. Anong nangyari? May iilan doon na sa bubong ni rescue. Dahil sa maling akala. Merong lalapit sa atin. No? Akala nila, kilala nila tayo. Hindi pala. Minsan doon sa isang... Uh, Paliparan. I was at the at a terminal. Doon sa check encounter, nakilala ako ng uh, taong iyon dahil nagsisimba online. Father, thanks be to God, nakita ko na kayo in person, sabi niya. Dahil online lang. Hindi ko naman kilala dahil online. Wala naman tayong makikita. Kami wala naman kang makikita online kung sino yung mga nagsisimba. Small talk, small talk. Pumasok ako doon sa, uh, sa pre-departure area. Tapos, akala ko siya yung nakaupo sa isang upuan. Nilapitan ko dahil sa aking uh, layunin na gusto kong ipagpatuloy yung kwento namin. So, meron akong binanggit. At yung tao, yung ali, tumingin na lang siya sa akin. And then I realized, mali pala. <laughs> maling akala. Maling akala. Dumaan ang anim na taon. But six years ago, someone made a sweeping statement. Sabi niya, buburahin niya yung droga sa loob ng anim na buwan. Maling akala. Of all the times of the year, none places more expectations upon us than Christmas. Of all the times of the year, none places more expectations upon us than Christmas. Our expectations of Christmas go all the way back to our childhood. Ganito kami noon, sana ganito pa rin ngayon. Pero hindi eh, no? hindi. E tayong mga may edad na, di ba, noon sa aming lalawigan, we go house to house, magkakaroling po kami. And for instrumentation, anong ginagawa namin? Yung tansan, we flatten a bottle cap, tansan, may buba, plastic na kasi ngayon eh. Tapos bubutasan mo yung gitna. Tapos isusuot mo yun, isusuot mo doon yung wire. Ayan na ginagamit namin tamburin. Joy to the Lord, the world is come. Let e, let e, let e. We realize, sino nga ba si let e, let e, let e? 
hindi namin kilala. Pero yun ang ginakanta namin nung mga panahon na iyon. Gusto natin yung Pasko natin ay tahimik, payapa, masaya. Gusto natin yung ating mga regalo, hindi isa lang, marami. Di ba? At gusto natin na ang ating mag-anak ay mapayapa. Our hearts filled with love and hope. There is nothing wrong with any of these expectations. But from year to year, life does not always cooperate. Kung tayo, pinagkakaabalahan natin yung ating trabaho, yung ating kinabukasan, kung hinahanap natin, kung hinaharap natin yung mga sumas sa kabilang buhay, kung halimbawa meron tayong malalang sakit o kung hindi kaya yung ating mag-anak, ating pamilya ay nagkawatak-watak, we will have less strength, we will have less energy, we will have less desire to celebrate Christmas. It is unlikely we find peace under our Christmas tree. Kaya sa mga kalagayang ito, alam po ninyo, pakiramdam natin para tayong si Juan Bautista, meron tayong mga pagdududa, meron tayong mga kabiguan. Saan nga ba si Juan Bautista sa panahong ito ayon sa ating Ibanghelyo? Nasa binangguan ho siya sa Makerus. At ang tanong niya, sa ating Panginoon. Kung ating isalin yan sa ating kapanahonan ngayon, ay ganito. Is this the Christmas I am celebrating this year? Or will I have to wait for the Christmas of next year? Ito ba? Ang Pasko, gusto kong ipagdiwang sa taong ito o mag-aantay ako sa susunod na Pasko, sa susunod na taon? Dalawang taon ho na tayong nagka-lockdown, hindi po ba? Ano yung Pasko niyo sa 2020? Iilan lang ho kami dito. 2020 Christmas, maximum of five persons lang. Yung pare, yung magbabasa, uh, kung uh, yung sakristan, tatlo na ho yun. Dalawang sakristan tayo, apat. Kung mag-concelebrate isa sa amin, lima na. No? Iilan lang. Ano yung Pasko natin sa taong 2021 last year? We've been under lockdown for those two years. Is this our Christmas? At alam natin yung sagot ng ating Panginoon. Sasabihin niya sa, ta- sa atin, Opo, ito ang Pasko sa taong ito. But see the good things that are happening in your life at this moment. Blessed are you if you can discern the Blessed are you if despite your worries and fear, you can still be thankful because of your family, because of your friends, because of your health, because of your home. And I know you want it to be different, but if you can find the good things that are present in your life right now, then that is your Christmas. Ano ang sinabi ng ating mga pagbasa ngayon? Mula sa kabatiran na ating naaani, mula sa ating ipinagdiwang ngayon. Tatlo, the certainty of God's mercy, the certainty of forgiveness, and the certainty of healing and deliverance. Hindi lang siguro, kundi sigurado tayo. Sigurado tayo sa awa ng Diyos. Sigurado tayo sa kanyang kapatawaran. Sigurado tayo sa paghihilom. Ito ang mga naranasan na kasiguraduhan ng ating patron ng si Santa Maria, Birhen, ng kanyang mag-anak, at siyempre kay Alessandro Serenelli, yung sumaksak sa kanya. The certainty of forgiveness. Sa pagamutan pa lang, Matapos sa sinaksak ng labing apat na beses ni Alessandro Serenelli, pinatawad niya ang taong yon. And after 27 years in prison, Alessandro, when he was released, 
he begged Maria's mother for forgiveness, which she granted. The certainty of forgiveness. Second, the certainty of healing and deliverance. Alessandro was healed. He was delivered from his mistake. When he later became a lay brother, he lived in a Capuchin monastery where he died in 1970. He was healed. No? Maria and her family were healed, delivered from the cycle of vengeance, and they forgave Alessandro, allowed the rule of law. And in all this, third, the certainty of God's mercy, who in today's first reading from Isaiah is one who comes with vindication for the just justice for the oppressors, but with divine recompense, he saves all. And as the second reading from James' letter says, he is the judge, the judge standing before the gate. Kaya sa lahat ng mga ito, ito ang naranasan ng ating patron ng Santa Maria Goretti. Is she not the patroness of forgiveness and mercy? Sa kaibuturan ng ating panahon ngayon, sa kaibuturan ng panahon ng pagsapit ng Panginoon, ay ang magandang balita na ang Diyos hindi po paririto. The good news is that God is here for us. At mismo sinabi, na, sinabi iyan ng ating Panginoon 2,000 years ago, the kingdom of God is among you. Hindi lang yung papalapit pa. Totoo po yun, second coming. Pero nandito siya in mystery in the Eucharist. And He does come to us in whatever circumstances we find ourselves. Even if they are the ones we are not expecting. So we have to let go of what we are expecting and accept what has been given. Hindi ho pwedeng malimutan natin yung mga bagay na nandiyan na. Ang kinin natin, yung mga magagandang mga bagay sa ating buhay. Dahil sa atin iyon, ibinigay sa atin ng Diyos, ipamahagi sa kapwa. And if we can do this, if we can claim the blessings that God has indeed given us, we will find Christ. Let us find Him and at Christmas, let us enjoy, rejoice. At dito, sasabihin ko sa inyo, tayo ay hindi siguro, tayo ay segurado, segurado. Please all stand. I believe in God, the Father, Father Almighty, Almighty, Creator of heaven, heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, He rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there He will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Brethren, we implore God our Father to help us endure the restlessness of our hearts in our anticipation of the coming of His Son. May He help us await our Savior in the spirit of joy 
as we say, Father, grant us joy and gladness. Father, grant us joy and gladness. May we, your church, manifest your love in our joyful waiting for your Son and faithful service towards each other, we pray. Father, Father grant, grant us joy and gladness. Guide our national and local leaders as they joyfully channel your love and mercy in the service they offer to us all, we pray. Father, Father grant, grant us joy and gladness. gladness. We lift to you, O God, the difficult burdens we carry today, burdens that cause desolation in our hearts. Grant us the joy to endure our suffering, we pray. Father, grant, grant us joy and gladness. Welcome our departed loved ones into your loving and joyful communion, we pray. Father, Father grant, grant us joy and gladness. Let us pray for the urgent concerns of our community and our personal intentions. We pray. Father, Father grant, grant us joy and gladness. And gladness. Father, grant us joy and gladness as we patiently wait for the glorious incarnation of your Son, our ultimate hope and joy, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Friends, pray that your and my sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. May the sacrifice of our worship, Lord, we pray, be offered to you unceasingly to complete what was begun in sacred mystery and powerfully accomplished for us your saving work. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord Heavenly Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord, for all the oracles of the prophets foretold him, the Virgin Mother longed for him with love beyond all telling. John the Baptist sang of his coming and proclaimed his presence when he came. It is by his gift that already we rejoice at the mystery of his nativity, so that he may find us watchful in prayer and exultant in his praise. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. Oh, Lord, oh, Son, I 
indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, the gifts we pray by sending down your Spirit upon them like the twofold, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The mystery of faith. As we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, the church spread throughout the world, bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope, Jose our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy in us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Joseph her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, Santa Maria Goretti, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Just to Yeah. 
and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us, deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may always be free from sin and safe from all distress. As we await the blessed Lord. Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace, I leave you my peace, I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accord with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. We offer each other the sign of peace. Magandang gabi, magandang buhay, maganda mabuhay tayo. Lamb of God, you take away the seeds of the world. Have mercy, have mercy. We say with certainty as with St. John the Baptist who points out to Jesus as the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Now blessed are those invited to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. The body of Christ. Amen. an act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Please kneel. The Novena Prayer on our ninth day together. O Lord Jesus, you said, Blessed are the pure of heart, for they shall see God. Cleanse us of all our sins by your most precious blood. Shield us from all intentioned persons, and grant that through the martyrdom of Santa Maria Goretti, we may obtain purity of mind, body, heart, and soul, and be preserved in the loving protection of the Immaculate Heart of the Blessed Virgin Mary until we reach our heavenly home. Amen. Amen. Together, let us pray for the family. Dearest Father in heaven, bless our family and bless us with new beginnings. Smile upon our parents and surround our children with the soft mantle of your love. Teach every child of ours to follow in your footsteps and to live life in the ways of faith, hope, and charity. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. In silence we pray for the intentions and needs of our family. Prayer to our patron together. Saint Mary Goretti, strengthened by God's grace, you did not hesitate, even at the age of twelve, to sacrifice life itself to defend your virginal purity. Look graciously on the unhappy human race that has strayed far from the path of eternal salvation. Teach us all, especially our youth, the courage and the promptness that will help us avoid anything that could offend Jesus. Obtain for me a great horror of sin, so that I may live a holy life on earth and win eternal glory in heaven. Amen. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Mary, Mother of God, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Santa Maria Goretti, pray for us. Please stand. Let us pray. We implore your mercy, Lord, that this divine sustenance may cleanse us of our faults and prepare us for the coming feasts through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow down your heads and pray for God's blessing. May the almighty and merciful God, by whose grace you have placed your faith in the first coming, of his only begotten Son, and yearn for his coming again, sanctify you by the radiance of Christ's advent, and enrich you with his blessing. Amen. As you run the race of his present life, may he make you firm in faith, joyful in hope, and active in charity. Amen. So that rejoicing now with devotion at the Redeemer's coming in the flesh, you may be endowed with the rich reward of eternal life when he comes again in majesty. Amen. I invite Father Jason to also uh, impart the liturgical blessing. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit come down on you and remain with you forever. Amen. The Mass is ended. We go with the absolute certainty that our true and honest peace is Christ himself. Thanks, Thanks be, be to, to God.
Ang Panginoon, ngayon at magpakailanman, 